Flares in Scottish football have been discussed at Hamden Park in a meeting. And here is an image of flares being used that uh, we don't really need to know because we know how they're used. The flares are used. Kick-off at this year's Scottish Cup semi-final between Celtic and Rangers was delayed because of flares. The Scottish FA and SPFL say they are encouraged by steps taken by clubs to combat the use of pyrotechnics. Uh, the issue was discussed at a meeting at Hamden Park with representatives from the governing bodies, Police Scotland and the Scottish Government. Legislation introduced this year made it illegal to carry fireworks or flares into a fence such as a football match. The meeting was described as an important opportunity to share information. Community Safety Minister Sohib Brown said it was a dangerous place which was escalating when announcing the new law in May. A Scottish Premiership match between Dundee and Rangers earlier this month was halted for 18 minutes with flares and golf dens part and smoke setting off a fire alarm and forcing the players off the pitch. And kick-off at last season's Scottish Cup semi-final between Celtic and Rangers at Hamden in April was delayed after fans set off flares inside the ground. A joint statement from the SFA and SPFL said, We heard firsthand the issues experienced by club safety officers and police Scotland in dealing with pyrotechnics at games. So let's just stop it there. Boom, boom. I'm all for flares. Uh, it's not changed in the past, you know, a couple of weeks, my opinion. I mean, I know a lot of people are split about it. I, I understand, though, if the use of flares delays delays games, abandons games, that is obviously shite. Not denying that. But it's good atmosphere. It is. It's a good visual. The players loved it, that Dundee Rangers game. And I don't care, you know, bias aside, rivalries aside, when Celtic do it, you know, or Aberdeen do it, or any other team in Europe, you see them using flair. It just looks better, man, it does. And, and I think they should be here. But they're banned, right? And, I mean, how else can they really police it, realistically? The flares are banned. They're just, I mean, I've read there, flares are banned from arenas. Fireworks are banned. They're still getting in. So how else do you police it? I mean, I think it would be unfair to, like, start banning... Um, Groups of fans for games over it. You know, like we've seen like stadium bans before. I mean, that's more to do with racism rather than flares. But I mean, I guess you could go down that path. I wouldn't like it to go down that path. I don't think anyone would like it to go down that path. But uh, back to the statement we go. The actions of a minority of supporters are having a disruptive and detrimental impact on the safety of the vast majority of supporters and potentially the players and officials on the field. We remain committed to working it with all stakeholders to address the matter. In the meantime, it has been very encouraging to see a number of our clubs take direct action in response to the use of pyrotechnics within their own stadia. Since June, it was a specific criminal offence to possess a firework or other pyrotechnic at certain Places or offence such as football matches, music concerts, and festivals without reasonable cause. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think reasonable cause is uh, atmosphere, even though I, I've just hyped up atmosphere. So we'll have to wait and see. I mean, we could put something up like this for a poll. Do you do you enjoy pyrotechnics at games or do you not? We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, no one enjoys the delays. No one looks at a football match and enjoys a delay. The only way you could possibly enjoy a delay is if your team's under the cosh and it breaks up the game. That is like the only way I could see a football fan that could enjoy a delay or, you know, you need to take a shite and the game gets delayed and you're like, ah, yes, I'm not going to miss any of the game that I've paid my money for, whether that be at the game or at your house, whatever, ever. But anyway, guys, that's where we're going to leave it. Flares were discussed at the Hamden Park meeting today. We're going to put a poll up and we'll get your guys' opinions and we'll also read the comments on this vid probably one day. We've got a lot of polls up. Make sure you comment. We're going to react to them all. Uh, make sure you check out earlier. Ten times Celtic were cheated by by Rangers. Bye-bye, Rangers. Bye, 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 bye. Anyway, till next time. Uh, what's that group called? NSYNC. Rangers Sync.